I think that when we as like the youth ministry do things like this, um, our friends that aren't believers, they come out to support us and then hopefully they get something from it and it kind of just, <laughs> it kind of just like plants the seed. When it goes to a country. Good metaphor. Um, the thing that inspires me the most, I think, is uh, my aunt T. Jo. Uh, she was like really good, in, like she believed very deeply in like faith. And uh, I came up here, and she did other like productions, I guess. And uh, I just came up here uh, and just did it like how I think that she would have liked me to do it. I hope that out of this skit and this whole inspired thing that people will see will be inspired I guess is the best word to kind of not be afraid to talk to friends or family or whoever is not a Christian and and tell them about what Jesus has done for us and what he's went through just for us and that it would convey the love that he has and that people would accept him and come to him. God inspires me to kind of turn the other cheek and curb my anger because in doing so I can show the love that God has for us. Uh, God inspires me to show more of Jesus' love to the people around me, whether it's like smiling to someone or saying hi to them. Um, I think that just shows like how you should treat people every day because that could, maybe they may have a bad day, so you just brighten their day and make them feel better. Own house. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Did you guys see that poster for the spring musical that Glee Club is doing? Yeah. I can't even believe that they would call it Glee. <laughs> Gleester. Yeah. At first I didn't get it, and then I was like, oh, Glee Club and Easter. Gleester. How clever. You guys aren't thinking of going, are you? No way, Jose. Yeah. There's no way it'll be as good as a TV show, Glee. Oh, that show is sweet. I'm a total gleek. Oh my gosh, I love that show. Hey, Nicole asked me if I'd go to her church's Good Friday service, the same night they're doing the play. Oh yeah, she asked me too. Do you think we should go? I feel bad for her. It was around this time last year that her dad died. I remember that. So crazy. I think we should go. It would be nice. Do you guys even know what Good Friday is? I think it's the day Jesus died, right? Yeah, the church my family used to go to had a midnight service every Easter. It was really serious and really boring. Nicole said her church is actually pretty fun. Like, they like to sing and dance and stuff. Well, anything would be better than Gleaster. True that. So, Tiff, do you believe in Jesus and all that? Well, I was raised in church, and I learned that Jesus died for our sins. But we stopped going regularly after the drama between my parents. Well, what about now? Do you still believe in Jesus? Well, I think I definitely believe that there's a God that created this whole universe. I don't think it was all an accident like they teach in science. Yeah, it's like really confusing, like what scientists try to prove now, and then how the church says that God created like everything. I don't get it. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what Nicole's church is about. I've heard mixed things about church. Really? Yeah. Like my vegetables. Yeah. Speaking of, it's Nicole. Hey, Nicole. What's hey, up? Taylor. Just wanted to see if Tiffany wanted to come to church with you. I asked Carol, too. It'd be awesome to see you guys there. Yeah, I'll ask her. Thanks for inviting us. So, how are you doing? Yeah, I'm all right. Thanks for asking. Well, Tom and Tyler come by in a little bit, so I better get ready. I hope to see you guys at church. Okay. Have fun. See ya.
Hey, Nicole. Oh, hey, guys. How are you? We got some food for you and your mom. Thanks, guys. Yeah, so what are you up to? Just sitting here, thinking about my dad. Can't believe it's been a year since he passed away. It seems like so long ago. I don't get real sad anymore, but the hurt's still there. That's because he meant so much to you. And, I mean, you loved him, and you still love him. That's why the grief remains, because your love remains. Dude, that was deep. I know. Your love for your dad is like Chris Kamen. He cannot be stopped. Chris Kamen is whack. No. You mean like Kobe? No. Ugh, Kobe. But yeah, we left on Craig too. We miss his laugh and his jokes. And if you need anything, we'll be here for you. Thanks again, guys. It really means a lot to me. And I know it means a lot to my dad too. Hey, can you guys do me a favor? Sure, whatever you need. Well, I invited Taylor, Carol, and Tiffany to Legacy for the Good Friday service. But, I don't know, I'm not sure I'll be able to go. Can you guys be there and talk to them so they don't feel awkward? We'll be there. Why do bad things happen to good people? Who do I believe? Why can't my parents just get along? Is there a purpose for my life? Why do people believe in what they believe? If God loves everyone, why doesn't everyone love God? God, are you real? Father God, I miss my dad so much. Sometimes it seems like it's more than I can bear. But I'm gonna trust you on this one, God, because I know you know what it feels like to lose someone close to you. Thank you for loving me so much. Help my friends to have fun at Legacy. And help them to find you there. All right. Hey, guys. Welcome to Legacy. Wow, it looks like uh, quite a few of you guys are new here today. And uh, so glad each and every one of you guys could join us here at, uh, at our little group here. And I'm sure a lot of you have a lot of questions and a lot of different things going on. I'm sure you came in here wondering what church is all about and what, what you're going to do here and what you're going to say here. I'm sure as you even see me, you're like, man, this guy's the youth pastor. He's so cool and so awesome. Uh, you know, you're like, wow, is this really a church? But yes, it is a church. But uh, you know, real quick, I, I wanted to share with you guys some things, and I know a lot of you guys are going through a lot of different stuff and a lot of hard things, and just because you guys are teenagers doesn't mean real difficult things happen to you guys, and you guys don't have tough questions, but I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know all the answers, and I'm not going to pretend like I do, but you know what? I do know somebody that does know the answers that you're looking for, and he's somebody that really, really loves you, but you know what? Uh, before we get to that serious stuff, uh, if you guys get to know me a little bit, I like to have fun, and that's what we're going to do. So we're going to play a game, all right? And it's going to be a little quirky, and it's going to be a little weird, and it's going to require some strategy, but it's going to be fun, and I think most of you guys have heard it before. It's a game called, get this, Ninja. Ninja. Yeah, Ninja. All right, uh, you guys know how to play? Kind of, yeah. yeah. Most of you guys? All right, well, let's all stand up, and let's get started then. We'll, we'll, we'll learn as we go. We just want to show other people how God inspires us to um, just worship Him and show His love for Him through Hula. God inspires me to be a better person and to evangelize to all my friends at school. Um, well, in the song, it constantly says, um, for God to watch over us and guide us everywhere we go, and I think that's important because we always need God to guide us and watch over us all the time. And as the surface breaks, reflections fade. 
I hope that they just get to know God better and have a personal relationship with Him and really just trust Him with their lives. And we hope you enjoy it. Curiosity. I wanna turn the whole thing up. Times when we don't know. 